Hello everyone, my name is uh, Kasia Klimovic from Citizens uh, for Europe. I am the coordinator of EDN, the European Democracy Network project. And I would like to uh, give you a warm welcome. Well, the different groups that uh, have come together here today, one is the European Democracy Network, which is uh, a newly uh, built uh, informal group of activists uh, from different European countries. And the network is there to first of all make visible the national and regional activism that people engage in their countries and show the European dimension of that activism. Meaning that the courses and the topics they uh, focus with their activism is not only of local or regional or national relevance, but is of European relevance. And to identify that those activists actually strongly connected with their activism across border. And the European Democracy Network has its aim to empower, to accompany activists, to provide resources, financial resources, trainings, technical tools, to allow them to also become more professional in their activism. The purpose of this meeting was to bring people from different parts of Europe together. And since we are meeting in, in Warsaw, in Poland, we wanted to give a floor to Polish activists too. So, what are we going to do tonight? Who have heard of open space? All right, so that's the next one and a half hours will be devoted to that. Open space is a methodology like unconference. It's a space that is open to your ideas, to your beliefs, to your wishes, to your needs and demands. And it provides a space to set the agenda, not from our organizer's perspective, but from your own perspective. Hello, uh, my name is Katja. Uh, we had a quite nice idea today. It's called the Red Line. Um, it's an, uh, the election we want to uh, do at the 8th of May. And you might have seen it. Some of us have no. this red um, thread around our arms. And if you're interested in what this is about, we can meet at number four. <laughs> red Line. And just, it's uh, attached to the 8th of May the International Day for the Victims of uh, uh, the Fascist Germany. So what will happen is that those five people will take their flip chart and spread around the room. That's what you do first. The rest of you sits here. Take a flip chart and walk and find yourself a space in the room and you watch them where they're going. All right, then I'll ask you, have a look around to see the topics. And now please take your chair and walk with the chair to this topic you are most attracted to. And then you'll hear a bell in half an hour again. Good luck. So we met with Zosha. Zosha is an exceptional woman because she uh, gathered with uh, 12 other women to actually stand up uh, in the streets uh, against a march, uh, um, the independent march, which is um, um, a march of fascists uh, in Warsaw, um, and it was pretty amazing because um, what drives you know 13 women to do this in like and get uh, very exposed in front of uh, like a, such a massive hateful group in the streets and. Um, but uh, this was also this conviction that uh, women get less attacked. I mean, if they were with men, there would be there would be more tensions and etc. Which I found a very interesting approach, but also um, well and incredibly, you know, like brave, <laughs> uh, like a move. So it was a very uh, it was a very moving story, and uh, also how they managed as a result to get a lot of attention because uh, these images were quite dramatic of them being on the floor and. Uh, being spitted on and um, beaten up, and you think you know, like it's, uh, it's 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 not possible in Europe that we still have to live that um, that these experiences are still possible of uh, of, 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 this, of this woman. Um, so that was uh, yeah a very moving uh, testimony, and um, but also gives a, give a, gives us a lot of hope about uh, that even a small action can actually make a lot of um, a lot of difference because people get all of us aware um, well about 
their own power to uh, to change things. So it's very interesting for me to learn about how women have been organizing in other countries um, and particularly how they've been organizing here in Poland and how a lot of the movement um, was built through uh, online interaction and how there was a lot of solidarity that was built through just contact with one another, like even if people weren't able to meet up face to face, um, how uh, women who were feeling at risk um, from new laws coming into place in Poland, uh, how they could uh, connect um, and organize together. The topic was about uh, realizing the challenge of having so many local uh, strikes and protests and activism but not finding a way to connect them on a European level unless it's the G20 or something very, very already uh, European-wise. Uh, um, which oh, And the, the discussion was uh, becoming interesting to me uh, when some also dissonance and uh, not agreement uh, between the ideas uh, my standing point was also to see, okay, we have some local issues like housing problem or women rights and access and equality or job seeking and unemployment, which we believe we have to solve them only tackling the local administration or the national government, but actually have a really deep root causes why they exist. So the session now was about public hearings and of a uh, European candidates for European Parliament and uh, it was about to to convince political party to uh, put in place this uh, this kind of uh, public debate and uh, in order to uh, for citizens to have a voice in the selection of candidates in the list in order to yeah add more democracy in the selection process I, I love being here I really love um, being in a group of people that is um, so diverse in terms of where they come from uh, because the, the, the experience and the cultures are very, very different um, and I have so much to learn about um, from those experiences um, and the, different, the, the contexts that are very different from my own. take all the chairs away from this side and we make a big circle in the middle here. A big circle. Take your chairs away. You know when you have this transnational group or international group of people you also see that we face really similar problems and it's not only about you and that we are in a, in a we are connected even though we think we're we you know things that happen in our country are just um, relevant for where we are. We actually learned that we have very common problems here. Well, tonight is a gathering of different activist groups uh, from across Europe and from uh, Warsaw and Poland um, that got an opportunity to come together to talk about how are we connecting our activism and how can we connect our engagement to defend democracy, to save human and fundamental rights and we come together to identify how can we work together to somehow fight the shrinking space of civil society in Europe that now and more diminishes the space of activists and civil society actors to get engaged in the public uh, and political discourses and in decision making. <laughs>